This is a video on how to clean zinc plates for making GANs. This is dry pool acid or sodium bisulfate, also known as sodium hydrogen sulfate. Okay, this is a video uh, on a cleaning procedure I'm going to try to do with these zinc plates. This is, um, I got like six zinc plates here, and uh, they've all become darkened uh, by doing a CO2 job, uh, CO2 GANs. So I made a solution of pool acid there. It's just dry acid from swimming pool, and uh, I think it's called sodium bisulfate. I think that's the technical name for it. And I put in about 100 cc's, 100 milliliters of dry pool acid in the bottom of the jar, then filled it up, two quart jar with water. This uh, rinse water over here is just plain water with one teaspoon of baking soda in it to help neutralize the acid after I take it out. So I'm just going to put this in here and uh, keep trying to keep from spilling it and uh, let it soak just for a little bit. And then uh, you can see the action. You can see it fizzing on the top of the on the top of the water there. And that uh, that fizzing action is telling me that it's eating up the dry, you know, the dark parts that's on the zinc. And after after it soaks there for a few minutes, I'm just going to pull them out one at a time and just give them a light scrubbing with this metal sponge. Then I'll put them in the rinse water and dry them off with a paper, excuse me, paper towel. And then. Uh, then I'll use them on the next GANS run. After soaking for a few minutes in the pool acid solution, the plates are scrubbed with a metal sponge. Okay, it's been about uh, five minutes or seven minutes or something like that. And I'm putting, putting the gloves on. I'm going to take these out and uh, start scrubbing. So I'm going to take this for, take one right here. And leave the rest in. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's uh, there's the dark part. I just scrub it. There we go. I'm going to dip it and do the other side. There we go. It's a little elbow grease, not much. Just a little surface scrubbing. It doesn't take much effort. I like the metal sponge. It's uh, coarse. It does the job really fast. Okay, this one's done. I'm just gonna take it off of here and drop it in water. And I get another one of these. Okay, there we go. See, it's real dark there. After rinsing for a few minutes in the water with baking soda, the plates are wiped dry with a paper towel. Okay, I'm going to restart the video. Got a couple of paper towels here. And I'm just going to pull these out and just dry them real fast. And then that'll be, uh, then they'll be done. See? I'll just clean them off. I don't think you need the gloves for this because you got that neutralized in there so I don't think there's any problem with this. I don't feel anything. Okay. See, just uh, wipe them with the paper towel. They look pretty clean. And they're ready for another GANS run. This way you can reuse these things. They I know they're cheap, 
but and they're easy to make and, but I like to get as much use out of them as I can there's you know no reason to waste material you know you can keep using it until until uh, it's pretty consumed a lot more consumed than this you know because you still get some use out of it okay let me stick this down it's way down in there and we get down there we go okay this is the last one okay here we are so that's a cleaning procedure that I do for the, for the zinc electrodes, you know, for making uh, either um, CO2 GANs or zinc oxide GANs. Okay? So there it is. It's a done deal. I'm going to shut the video off.